Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what does your guides and your ancestors want you to know for Cancer? Uh, this is going to be for September 2022. Uh, you can apply this to your um, to any of your placements uh, because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. Um, the link for that is in the description box below. Uh, also, quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watch, flip, twisted, or reverse. Uh, this is a reading more so for the Cancerian people that are currently on the path of healing, personal growth, spiritual growth, but if you want to do so, you can feel free to do so, okay? So uh, Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about Cancer here. Uh, what does uh, Cancer's guides and ancestors and angels want Cancer to know? For September 2022. Let's get one more. Okay. With the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there ha has been a lot of emotional burdens that you've been carrying around, or carrying around with you for a long time. And I feel like with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're ready to release that, okay? Um, you know, I feel like you got, I mean, cancer, I mean, you guys are really sensitive. Um, uh, and I feel like you guys might be overwhelmed in taking on other people's energies and absorbing people's energies like a sponge here. Okay. So I feel like you guys might be learning on how to control that better, having really strong energetic boundaries and physical boundaries with people here. Okay. So let's see, what else do we have here for Cancer? Uh, we have the Nine of Swords and the Magician here. So Gemini, Virgo, and the Nine of Swords. Seems like there's an energy of sort of stressing out here. I thought you could be overcoming the stress and just like manifesting here, you know, manifesting positivity and good things in your life. You know, with the high priestess here, you know, this could be an indication you're in this energy of basically not speaking, not saying, saying anything or not, you know, using your energy towards something that is not for you. You know what I mean? So a high priestess cancer Pisces. And the six of pentacles here seems like you guys are really focused on honing in or really focusing your energies towards maybe you know sort of like building up your intuition here okay um be careful of being too generous with people cancer uh because people can can take advantage of you because of that okay uh you know i have a cancer rising myself so you know sometimes i could give too much too quickly you know so just watch out for that all right uh what else do we have here the knight of cups what is the knight of cups here okay six of pups not the six uh, uh seven of pentacles ten of wands here and the star aquarius energy here seems like there's an energy of you guys sort of like following the light okay going towards the light okay um you know i feel like you could have been through some darkness in your life and they feel like you're not looking back or that you know you could be in this energy of like or someone here is trying to suck you back or that there are people trying to suck you back but you just keep moving towards the light here okay with the star um you know with the seven of pentacles and the star card you know this could be an indication that, that you guys could be doing some sort of light work here and if you guys do do light work just make sure you have strong energetic boundaries with people you know i feel like when we do this type of work it, it, it's really important you know if 
something is not for you, you don't take it on. You, you know what I mean? You could say no. Like, let's say if you guys do see spirits and spirits do come towards you and you, they need your help and you don't have time to help them, you could tell them no, come back later. You know, in this, in, in this instance, you know, you could set up office hours, you know, you could tell them, you know, hey, uh, you know, I only could help you guys out from this time to this time, you know, come back later. So, you know, a lot of times they do sort of like, you know, okay, I'll, I'll come back later or that they'll leave you alone you say no you don't want to deal with it or that you don't want to you know uh help them okay that's okay you know so the nine of swords here and the four of swords okay the magician and the empress wowzers so cancer libra taurus energy um i mean you guys are definitely in this energy of master manifesting here Okay, so, you know, I feel like, you know, with the Four of Swords, you, you could be closing out on something here or making peace with something that was really stressful for you, okay? So I feel like you could be leaving that behind. And like I said, you know, you don't want to be pulled back towards the darkness, towards the stress, the anxiety, the sleepless nights. You just want to focus on the light here, yeah? The Magician, that's not the Magician, I'm so sorry. The High Priestess. Okay, serenity, which in this deck, it's the hermit, Virgo energy. So there is an energy where you are sort of like withdrawing and disconnecting from people here and spending a lot of time by yourself, doing a lot of introspection, self-reflection here, doing some soul searching. You know, I feel like you guys are on your way to ascending here, okay? So, you know, you guys are seek, finding enlightenment and ascending here, okay? So the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you've been so generous with people, with your energy, with your time here, and you feel like you've set yourself up for disappointment because of that. So I feel like, like I said, you know, I feel like, you know, it's nice to help people, but it's important to discern who you give that energy to because, you know, people can take advantage of you when they see that, you know, you give too much, you know, uh, because, you know, some people are just freaking grabby twats. You know, so uh, so just watch out for that. Yeah, um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know from their guides and their ancestors? What else does Cancer need to know from their guides and their ancestors for September 2022? Okay, so the Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. Is that the Five of Wands? Okay, yeah, the Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay. Mm, there is someone that you're in conflict with, or whoever this is. This is someone here that's trying to distort your reality, or that there are people that's trying to distort your reality, but, you know, there's an energy of sort of rising above it and not sort of like, you know, playing along. You know, um, because that empress is the energy of someone who knows themselves really well. They don't have to, de they don't have to defend themselves to other people. You know, uh, you know, it's not a defensive energy. Okay, so the eight of cups here and the eight of pentacles. Oppression in the four of wands. Okay, so oppression in this deck is the devil here, Capricorn energy. I mean, there is someone in or around you, or there are some ones that are trying to keep you stuck or trying to pull you down to their vibration, their, in their consciousness level, their low vibing consciousness level, their vibration. And I feel like there's an energy of sort of like rising above that and sort of like not getting involved in the drama. Yeah. So the five of wands with the two of wands, the two of swords and the ace of pentacles here. Okay. So you are starting all over again here. Uh, more so, I feel like the, the, those twos, I feel like it should be in the reverse because I feel like you're making a decision to start all over again and definitely to leave something behind here. Basically, that's not working for you. And I feel like it has to do with people, okay? Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Lots of eights here. Okay. Um, I feel like you're stepping away from people that are jealous of you. I mean, you're coming up as a pre-empress and an empress here. Okay. So, you know, people could be jealous of your success. You know, people could be jealous of your looks or something like that. But 
it seems like you're in this energy of definitely trying to move past this or move away from it or you know continue focusing on your work here and not letting this bother you tell me about this uh, empress that's not the empress i'm so sorry oppression we have the emperor here we have the empress of the empress interesting I mean, this could be someone that's toxic in your life that's trying to pull you down, but you know, there's an energy of sort of like rising above it. When I see the emperor and the devil here, this is telling me that this individual is very mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. This person could be a bit unhinged, okay? Uh, but I, I feel like there's an energy of like getting away from this, yeah? The four of wands here and the three of swords, okay. I mean, this could be a relationship here. I mean, this could be a family member that has hurt you. This could be a friend, okay? This could be like a business partner or something like that. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Yeah, it seems like someone here recently has hurt you, but I feel like you're moving past this, okay? I just feel like you're just not on the same wavelength and consciousness level on this as this person. So, you know, it could be a situation that this doesn't really bother you you know, just by cutting this person out, okay? So, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a com comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.